I had a week's holiday with my family in uh, uh, Harvey Bay and we sailed up to Watumba and uh, had, a, had a good time. I uh, did a lot of walking on the beach. Anyway, I dropped them off on Sunday and I'm uh, going to carry on sailing up uh, the coast now. Uh, on Sunday I left at 12 o'clock. I sailed with very little wind up to Watumba. I anchored there the night, absolutely flat calm. I've carried on sailing today just gone past Rooney's Point about one o'clock and uh, I'm carrying on to Lady Musgrave. Doing about three knots, uh, got the Genoa up, absolutely not much wind at all. Don't know what's going to happen tonight, might just be drifting, but uh, need to press on. So we're, we're just going to do our best and get as far as we can. Fraser Island, uh, Rooney's Point is in the uh, foreground there and we're just barely going, doing about three knots. Genoa, I'm coming round and may be able to see the lighthouse on the uh, top of the hill there by the sand dune. That is the uh, lighthouse on Fraser Island. I've got uh, uh, 58 miles to go to uh, Lady Musgrave uh, through the night, maybe next day. There's absolutely no wind at the moment. I s it uh, set off uh, from uh, Rooney's Point. There was a little bit of breeze. I knew the wind was going to die out, and uh, but. I can either flap round the corner just at anchor there and just uh, wait for the wind for the next few days or I can just uh, push on and I decided well I'm going to just push on. So I'm going to start my little outboard up in a minute. I've got a the Tahatsu there which I've uh, put slung on the thing and my little dinghy anchor I'm going to uh, start up and I'm just going to, I know that with the uh, Tahatsu on a absolute flat calm like this I get uh, about 24 nautical miles to a uh, 10 litres of fuel uh, maybe 12 litres of fuel but uh, I'm going to try the little Tahatsu and uh, filled a tank full up and I'm going to fire it up and see if, uh, see how far a tank goes then I'll work it out if it's worth uh, carrying on with a Tahatsu or put the, uh, the small Tahatsu or put the uh, large Tahatsu back on from uh, Lady Musgrove now and about 10 off uh, Fraser Island. Uh, the, we've been motoring for about the last hour and uh, or half an hour to an hour. Uh, absolutely flat calm. Now uh, I've got a bit of a breeze. I think it may be because the land's cooling down. It's a sea breeze. And uh, I'm going to make myself a curry. So what you need for a curry is you need a fresh cooker, paddock curry paste, coconut powder, one chicken breast, some onions and carrots and whatever else you want to put in it. Anyway, so first of all you pour a good splash of olive oil in, which I've just done, and then you uh, light the gas. And then uh, the first thing you do is you uh, brown your onions. Nice chicken breast, which I've already done. Yeah, nice night. Let's see. You know, I, I thought it was going to be uh, one of those trips, but uh, it's turning out all right at the moment. So I'll keep my fingers crossed. You never get things perfect. You know, they say there's uh, very light winds, and you know it's going to die out, but we'll see. So. 
trouble is you can't motor much in a trailer sailor because uh, they only carry uh, 30 litres of fuel. And 30 litres won't get me to uh, Lady Musgrave, never mind about anywhere else. So you do have to sail. Well, I've been carbonizing the onions for about, uh, oh, I suppose, five minutes now. And uh, they're, they're all right, they're, they're soft anyway. And now I've got a, a chicken breast here, I've uh, chopped up, and in goes the chicken breast. Just brown that as well. I just move the caramelized onions to one side in the pan really and just do this, just do the chicken. Just make it go all white, you know. Doesn't take long. Basically just sealing it. That'll do, that not too fussy. That's pretty good. Now, what you do now, is you've got to put in a, uh, a like an Allego tomato paste, herb and garlic. What to put on the pizzas. That goes in next. Bloody hot to get open. veggies. And now you need to put some water in because you need to make steam plus you need a bit of gravy in it so put one, two, uh, put that down see what we've got. Just want the, the uh, water just to cover Cover it all just about, just if it was all flat and compacted down. So two, uh, two and a little fraction. That'll do. Oh, I've got the beans yet. So beans and carrots. In goes the beans and carrots. There's the carrots. And there's the beans in the coffee cup. There you go, they're in. And uh, now you need the, this is Patek's curry paste uh, korma, which is the mild one. So I put in a fair bit of this. So it's one, two, it's about a, getting on for a third of the uh, jar. Oh, there's nothing left in here, so I'm going to put the whole damn lot in here. So, so basically a third of a jar I put in. Stir that in. I'm back. Now I've uh, finished stirring it all in, I realise I just need a little bit more water, so maybe nearly three of these jars and things full. Okay, that's it. Uh, if you put not, not enough in the uh, the chickens, it doesn't soak into the chicken when you cook it, and the chicken's a bit, uh, how do you say, uh, a bit dry. Dry, that's done. So now I put the lid on. And basically I cook that, uh, bring it up to pressure, and then I cook it for about, uh, oh, about 10 minutes, if that. And then I 
bring it downstairs, put it downstairs and put a towel around it to keep it warm and it can keep cooking while I cook the rice. Anyway, that's going pretty well. I better have a look, see if there's anything out here now. Just blackness. sizzling away, blew off steam and then I turned it down and uh, it's gone for 10 minutes. Now I'm going to put it downstairs, cover it with a towel so that it uh, still keeps cooking while I cook the rice. first because uh, I'm not pointing in the right direction. To cook the rice, I use the absorption method. Three to two, sorry. When you do the rice, I use the absorption method to do the rice. It's three to three, uh, three to two. So I'm not doing a full mug or anything because there's only me. Two half mugs, so I do three half mugs now, put it in here. Cooking in a pan is quite dangerous, you know, uh, like in a fresh cooker, 
if it tips over and it uh, you can't escape, only a bit of steam. So the most, and if you've got a pair of jeans on and something, you would never, uh, I don't think you get burnt. But, uh, with, uh, with a pan, you can get scalded, so you have to be a lot more careful. That's why normally I like to try and do most things just in the pressure cooker. Uh, I'm having to do the rice when I'm sailing, so I just keep it away from me so that it can only fall in the cockpit and not over me. Because normally if you're uh, downstairs and you're uh, sailing along and uh, you're cooking on your own galley downstairs, you always uh, always wear your oil skins. Your oil skin bottom with the fib and braces always when you're cooking so that you can't get scalded if anything falls off the stove. too hard to sail to that uh, sweet spot so I just always maybe I'm 10 degrees off at the moment off windward but uh, why I'm cooking with tea and everything that's okay there we go we're sailing along it's pretty dark and the star you can see is uh, Pluto. the pressure cooker. Now you've got a the secret ingredient I don't know if you can see that but it's it's a bit of a slurry in there and uh, what you've got to do is uh, add one of these which is a a Maggi's coconut powder uh, it's well it's not it's a uh, an Amyo coconut powder this one is and uh, you get a sachet like this which is basically makes a cup load and you because you've got a slurry in there it's water watery because your uh, your uh, your uh, if you if you didn't have a uh, it watery it would burn on the bottom in the pressure cooker because you know on a boat you can't simmer things because it's out on cooking outside so the gas is nearly on full bore. So you put this the coconut powder in now and that thickens it up. It makes it taste good. in the pan. I made enough for four people or five maybe and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in some Ziploc bags and then put it in the fridge which uh, my, my fridge, is, fridge is on freezing so I'll just uh, put them in for uh, probably let them cool down outside then put them in the fridge. Be 
screens and stuff. That's the thing. That'll do me, I mean. So there's masses left over, so I'll be going for a couple of days in there. like and that's my curry. It tastes very nice. It's just too hot to uh, eat yet. So good we're just toddling along at about uh, 3.5 knots at the moment. At least it's better than motoring and uh, we'll see we'll see how what the night brings.